So here I want to demonstrate my uh, new super capacitor board, which I have uh, eight capacitors in series. The previous one they had about five volts. Well, it's being charged now with 14 volts, but it can hold more than that, or closer to 20 volts uh, with solar or something like that. So here I took out my large uh, Maxwell super capacitor. I had a 500 farad super capacitor, which was really hard to uh, charge up with this uh, pedal power uh, alternator generator device I made so here I have my homebrew uh, set up here and right now showing that the supercapacitor has about 7 volts on here so I'm going to drain this supercapacitor with this giant uh, 120 uh, watt resistor here real fast that's going to drop it right down so I'm going to go deliberately be low 5 volts to show you how I kickstart this alternator. Okay, that's probably good enough. Assembly here. So I'm gonna hook this back up to here. So what we have here is, I took out the whole battery from my design here. And I have a hand crank that's going to actually charge up the super capacitor board to about 5.6 volts. Six volts is definitely enough. So six volts of um, voltage on a super capacitor is enough current to kickstart this alternator before I had a uh, 12 volt battery hooked up here I want to try to make this whole thing without a battery. In emergency situation all I have to do is hand crank this thing get this voltage up about 5.5 volts to 6 volts and it's enough current to start this alternator up and I can just pedal to uh, quickly charge this thing up so here I'm going to show you it's not hard to do is to get this guy up to starting voltage We'll stop at six. Because six is enough. We've tested this thing out four or six. So let me uh, get on the bike now. On the bike. We'll turn this thing on, which is gonna should turn the current on to the alternator. It's gonna get hard to pedal. It did, so I can shut this off now. It's a little harder to pedal, but not as hard as that uh, 500 ferret super capacitor from Maxwell. Since we're dealing with about 63 ferrets, I believe, in the uh, bank I have now. So it doesn't take any time at all to bring this voltage up to uh, whatever the alternator can uh, generate, around 14 volts or so. So anything above 12 volts, I'm going to be able to turn on the inverter. So we're already at about 13 volts. So. We'll turn the inverter on about 15 or so. Here's about 15 volts. Well, it's about 13 on this one. That's enough to turn the inverter on. So I got a light on here. There it is. Now, of course, uh, 60 watt bulb, and it's sucking up all the uh, the juice. And pretty soon that inverter is going to uh, turn on because of low voltage. So dead. But if I were to get on my bike, I can maintain this light. I'll turn this thing on. Pedal. And now we're above 12 volts and the light should be on. So this isn't too uh, hard to pedal. I can maintain this. So long to last for.